Good morning, HF, and welcome to the VTV Daily Show. I'm Cora McMillan. And I'm Jalen White. Welcome back from a beautiful nine days off for spring break. Hopefully everyone had a long, relaxing week where you were able to get revitalized and re-energized for the long haul. The long haul isn't really that long. According to our counts, we have 39 days of school left. Seniors, you have 36.5. That's counting our days off for Good Friday and Memorial Day, plus all of the half days for testing and finals. So just 39 days until we, we, until we put a wrap on this school year. That's not bad. And here's the thing, those next 39 days are going to be packed with activities to make it go really fast. Besides all the end of the year award banquets, you're going to have concerts, meetings, spring sports. And don't forget about the annual VTV Senior vs. Faculty Decathlon. That's just around the corner too. We'll see if this senior class can be the first ever to beat the teachers in some competition. And of course, we can't forget prom, which is on May 18th. It's never too early to start planning for the big night. So I'm sure most of you have already started discussing colors, flowers, oh, and your date. Yeah, that's kind of important to think of. But get this, while you're thinking of prom and starting to add up what it may cost, how nice would it be to not have to pay to go to prom? Hmm, sounds intriguing. And if you like the sound of that, stick around and we'll tell you more about it right after we get through these announcements. There's going to be a Viking Garden Cleanup Planting Day on Thursday from 3 to 5 p.m. in the HF Organic Garden. If you're interested, please e email Mrs. Malfeo at cmalfeo at gmail.com. There will be a litter pickup day on Saturday at Homewood Isaac Walton. The event runs from 9 a.m. to noon. Everyone interested in helping out should meet in the main building. You do not need to bring anything special to show up in casual clothes like jeans. They will supply all the rest of the materials. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Lisinski in E30 or you can email her. The HF Guidance Office along with the HF Foundation and the HFPA are happy to announce the release of the HF Foundation Scholarships. The scholarships will be available for the next week. They are currently open and will close on Sunday, April 7th. All supplemental materials must be turned in to the registrar by Monday, April 8th. All applications will be accessible and completed through Naviance. There will be no paper or hard copies available in the guidance office. After logging in onto Naviance, scholarships can be found under the HFHS Foundation Scholarship Program link, which is located in the About Me tab. Any questions can be directed to the guidance office or Mr. Kane and Mr. Coy. Etta Showcase is looking for a musical band or artist to headline our event on Wednesday, April 24th. If you are interested in performing, please send a short video audition file to Ms. Mustafa's email, smustafa at hf233.org by Monday, April 15th. Spots are limited. Musicians will open our event at 6 p.m. and play until 6.20 to 6.30 p.m. Please see Ms. Mustafa in A11 if you have any questions. Summer school registration for those students needing behind the wheel or classroom will be held Tuesday, April 16th at 3.30 in the North Building Cafeteria. Time slots are first come, first serve. Payment is due that day in order to register. The cost is $100 for behind the wheel and $175 payable by cash, check, or money order made out to HF. Students must turn 16 years old by November 1, 2019 to register for summer school driver's education. Parents do not need to come with you, but they can register for you if you are unable to attend. Summer school driver education will be held from Monday, June 3rd to Thursday, June 27th. That's all the announcements we have today, so let's send it over to Jacob who has the latest in sports. Thank you guys, I'm Jacob Hodges here to catch you up on all the happenings in sports. The HF Ultimate Frisbee team is starting. All those interested should come Thursday after school to room B5 for an informational meeting. All players and skill levels are welcome. Viking dance team tryouts are coming soon. Tuesday, April 16th, Wednesday, April 17th, and Thursday, April 18th from 3.30 to 6 in the dance studio. Learn our technique on day one, choreography on day two, and then try out in front of our dance industry judges. It's open to all boys and girls, incoming freshmen through seniors. They can't wait to see you there. Eleven members of the boys' track and field team made the third annual trip to San Diego, California to compete in the A A6 Mount Carmel Invitational the, the first weekend of spring break. The guys did a great job competing in the meet that features athletes from over 100 schools. They also got to enjoy some fine Southern Californian weather. Quinton Stringfellow had another monster day, taking second in long jump with a leap of 23-2, then proceeded to win the triple jump with a jump of 49-6. This set a new school record and is currently the number one wind legal outdoor mark in the nation. Because of his outstanding performance, Quinton also earned male field athlete of the meet. 
The team had a back-to-back 4x1 relay champions. Ugo Anadobu, Shun Ediega, Marshall Ellis, and Josh Bridges teamed up to run the same time, 42.08, as last year's quartet to take the title. Okay, that's all the sports that were reported to us. I'm Jacob Hodges in the Sports Corner. Boy, it sounds like Quentin is killing it in the triple jump. Great job by him and the entire team on a successful trip. Speaking of trips, there are a lot of them over spring break. The track team in Cali, the softball team went to Orlando, and of course the trips to Spain and Italy by the Spanish club and the choir. All very lucky to get the opportunity for a trip like that. And we'll see how those trips went next week as we talk to the students on the trip to get to see all the pictures of their historic journeys. It's all coming up next week on BTV. Well, I wonder if our principal did anything interesting over break. It's time to find out as she sits down with our very own Kenneth Powell for the latest edition of Telling It Like It Is. Welcome back to Telling It Like It Is with the one and only principal of HF, Dr. Jerry Lee Anderson. Welcome back. Welcome back to you too. Thank you very much. All right, you know how it works. We'll ask you three questions and you have 30 seconds to answer each of them. Well, we'll jump right into it. And our first question is a personal one for you, Dr. Anderson. How was your spring break? My spring break was very relaxing. I, I really enjoyed it. You know, just uh, soaking up the sun, honestly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was great. Absolutely. All right. Well, secondly, all school testing day is next week. So what should everyone be looking forward to in preparation of that and anything they should be looking for around the school? Well, they should definitely make sure that they get enough rest the night before testing because, you know, so you can be at your best. And um, also make sure you have a nice breakfast, healthy snacks during the day, not all that sugary stuff because that'll just take you up and then dump you way down, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, then just come in with a mindset of doing your best. Don't let the, t the test stress you but commit to doing your best. All right, absolutely. And lastly, today makes 37 days left in the school year for seniors. How are you feeling about that and what advice do you have for our senior class when the year coming to a close now? Um, I want all of my seniors to uh, act like a good 400 meter runner. You know, when you run the 400, like the beginning of the year, you get out the gate, you're on your way, right? You mm -hmm. get in this groove and you get in your cruise and you know, you're right there with the pack. But when you get to that third corner up there, one, two, three, third corner, that is not the time to give up. That's when you accelerate. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. That's when you put everything into it that you need to to get where you need to be, coming into that third corner and coming off that, off that turn. And so that's what I really want to encourage my seniors to do. Hey, keep it strong. Keep doing the things that you need to do. Don't, you know, don't slack up. Because I don't want any, like, you know, rescinding any um, letters of offers because of poor grades and all that kind of stuff. Just finish strong. All righty. All right, Dr. Anderson, well, that'll conclude this episode of Telling It Like It Is. It's been a pleasure as always, and we'll see you back here next, next week, same time, same place. All right, sounds good. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Once again, we thank Dr. Anderson for taking the time to come speak with us. All right, so earlier we mentioned how nice it would be to not have to pay to go on prom. I think everyone could agree on that, right? Oh, for sure. So VTV is going to help out one lucky couple this year and send you to prom for free. Wait, did you just say free? Yeah, I said free. We're talking a value of over $260 for tickets. And you heard it right, they're free. It's all happening in a contest we're running that will involve couples who are going to the prom together. So if you already have a date and you want to save some money on tickets, this could be just right for you. We'll have all the information you need next week on the show. So keep tuning in to VTV to find out more. So do you know what the contest is? I don't, but word is it's going to put the couples to the test for sure. They're going to have to earn those tickets. Again, keep watching for more info coming your way. Okay, that's going to do it for us today. Hopefully you've settled back into your routine and you're excited for the remainder of the year. Enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you here tomorrow. I'm Cora McMillan. And I'm Jalen White. For everyone here at VTV, have a great day.